Hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. Now in this video we're going to learn about function parameters. In the last video we have discussed the concept of functions, how we can use those and we have also learned about return types and how we can do works inside functions. So in this video we're going to concentrate on function parameters. Now what are they? Now suppose we want to give a value to the function and get a value in return from the function. As an example, suppose we want to create a function to, uh, to do the square of a value. So when I give 5 as an input to the function, I get 25 which is square of 5 as an output from the function. So that sounds cool. So in order to do these things, we need to know about function parameters. Now function parameters helps us to give some input into that function. So how do we create parameters? So let's go and delete this function. We will create our new one. So we want this function to do square. So let's name it SQ, SQR. So what we want this function to do is we want this function to return us the square of the value whatever we pass to it. So within this parentheses we have to write the parameter that we're gonna pass to this function. So here we're going to pass int let's name it val for value. So what will happen is now this function can accept an integer okay now we have a value inside this val and we can do anything with that value so here we are going to return the value uh, return the square of the value so uh, let's first of all make the square of val so val equals val asterisk val so what this will do is this will multiply val and val. Suppose I pass the val. Suppose I pass five with the val. So what will happen is five will be multiplied by five. That is twenty-five, and that twenty-five will be assigned to val again. So the val, the value of the val will be the squared value of it. So next thing we want is we want it to. We want to return the value. So let's go and write return val. So this is a basic squaring function. So whatever will pass the value here, it will return the square of it by doing this. Okay. So let's go and prototype it or declare it. Just copy this line and paste it here. Don't forget the semicolon. Okay. Now let's. Okay. Now let's create a variable called b int b inside b let us store square let us call the square and inside the parameters here we have val so here we can pass a value suppose we pass 5 so 5 is passed from here it is called 5 is passed from here it is stored here in the value then it is squared here stored in value again and finally returned and the returned value is assigned to b okay so let's go and print the value of b now c out b and line so let's go and run it uh, it will run and as you can see we have passed 5 and we have got 25 as a return so let's try some other values let's pass 6 and when you pass 6 as you can see the square of 636 has been returned so this is how we pass value into functions by using some parameters now you can use more than one parameter here we have used only one parameter and that is integer you can use as many parameters as you want suppose the next one I want to pass is a string string is basically string is basically uh, a word or sentence whatever you say let's write string name so what we want this function to do now whatever name is passed we want to print the name out we want to print out the name 
and then we want to return the square so from here let's go and give it another parameter we have already passed int val which is 6 and for the string we will pass my name you can pass your name Raja so let's go and run it now so what will happen is Raja will be passed to this name and this name will be printed here and then the value will be squared so let's go and run it I think I have made some error okay uh, inside the you have to update the declaration here too so copy it and paste it okay so you have to update the declaration here too so let's go and run it now and it run as you can see it first of all prints my name and then it squares the value so this is the basics of function parameters I hope you guys learned something enjoy this tutorial please subscribe and like comment share and if you have any questions just write those in comments thank you very very much for watching this video I hope it helps thank you